Dubbed America's craziest governor in 2014 by Politico, Paula Page is back in the battle for the Blaine House. And after eight years in office, he recently told me that there are still a lot of misconceptions about him and what he still wants to do for the state. Tonight, we kick off our series of profiles on all three candidates for governor. It's a mix of personal and political. So where was the first place that you lived? Right there. Lincoln Street in Lewiston, Maine's former two-term Republican Governor Paula Page, taking us back to his roots. I really would not want to ever live, relive birth to 18 years old. It was just not pretty. Just survival. Just, it was survival yeah. and, and it, uh, the beatings, and not just the beatings on me, but the beatings on my mom. Did my first communion. LePage says things got so bad for him and his 17 siblings, he left home when he was just 11 years old. the river. I was put in the hospital by my dad. He kicked me, broke my jaw, my, and while I was in the hospital, he came in on a Sunday night, and he handed me a 50-cent piece, and he said, tell, tell the doctors you fell down the stairs. And that's when I left. They're not always good. For two yeah. years, he lived on the streets doing odd jobs so, until a local foster family took him church. in. He oh, says his life started when he became a student at Husson College. That's when my life became Paula Page and not the little Frenchman on Lincoln Street. From Lincoln Street, we walked to his campaign office in downtown Lewiston. Nice to see you. His wife of almost 40 years, Anne, by his side. Together they have two children and raised a third, a boy from Jamaica. Paul will fight for the underdog. The former first lady knew her husband would run again just two weeks after they retired to Florida in 2019. I think the first inclination was when the, um, uh, the current governor took the open for business sign down. That was the first day. <laughs> so what's changed most since you left office? Inflation's way up. Uh, food costs were the third highest in the country. There are several things we can do. Can we eliminate inflation? No, but we can slow it. I'm a businessman. This is what I did for a living. Turn around companies. An absolute economic disaster. For starters, he says the state should suspend fees and taxes on things like bags, packaged goods, pet food, and diesel. He's also proposed eliminating the income tax, which he lowered in 2011 during his first term. So I'm a firm believer income tax has got to go. Entirely? Well, well we phase out what we can. We need to make sure. He wants to do more to reform the state's welfare system. When I was governor, I had a work requirement. That On the issue of abortion, he says he's pro-life, but supports the current state law, which allows abortions until viability. After eight years of being governor, I never challenged that law, and I never intend to challenge the law. Speaking of his eight years as governor, LePage admits sometimes his style got in the way of his substance. But he's the first one to give it to the people without providing Vaseline. Do you think you've changed since you left office? Well, let's, this is what I think. And, and this goes all the way back from, from the time I was on Lincoln Street, uh, growing on the streets. Life is a journey. And every day, if you don't learn something new, then you're a failure. And we do want to let you know that tomorrow night we're going to go to Farmington. That is Governor Janet Mills' hometown to learn more about her background and plans for the future if voters pick her for a second term. And then on Thursday, we're going to meet Sam Hunkler. He's the independent on the ballot. Yes, and stay tuned tomorrow night after our 6 p.m. newscast. That is when we're going to have Maine's total coverage for everything you need to know ahead of this election day. In addition to a look at the governor's race, we'll walk you through the statewide elections for Maine's first and second congressional districts and explain each referendum question on the Portland ballot. Everything you need to know before you go and vote again. That will be all right here tomorrow at 8 o'clock on Maine's total coverage.